Hey folks, I'm Michael Keane on the Zero Trust team at Cloudflare down in Austin, Texas. And this week you might've saw, we announced that Cloudflare was recognized for the second year in a row in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for Security Service Edge or SSE. Um, might wonder what is SSE? SSE is part of a broader trend you might also have heard of called SASE. And SASE stands for Secure Access Service Edge. It's essentially stitching together both security and networking on one converged platform. It's kind of organizations taking both the consolidation trend and the network modernization trend and doing them both at once, but that's a lot to tackle. And most are approaching it over many years with just many use cases along the way. So SSE emerged as kind of the security half of the equation. Uh, it composes individual services you might've heard of called Zero Trust Network Access or Secure Hub Gateway, Cloud Access Security Broker, Data Loss Prevention, just to name a few. Uh, and as orgs make progress on that journey, yeah, they're really creating more modern architecture and they see tons of benefits to their business where their employees are happier with a better experience, their operations are more streamlined, they're reducing risk because they're not using a bunch of point solutions not designed to work together. And really when they do all of that, see a total cost of ownership reduction over time. It's really kind of the enterprise security flavor of this broader consolidation trend. And Cloudflare is tackling kind of the largest part of the issue with single vendor SASE, you know, in typical Cloudflare fashion, we're gonna to try to create it all. So then by definition, we also have an SSE platform because that's kind of when you just use the security half of it. So does Cloudflare have anything special in the SSE space? I think, you know, the most interesting thing about Cloudflare in the SSE space is it's not what we started with. And that almost sounds counterintuitive at first, but when we were building out our CDN, improving our WAF, improving our DDoS mitigation over the last many years, we probably didn't know it at the time, but what we really were building was a connectivity cloud. And this is a global network of a ton of individual programmable services uh, where you can basically use at all of them or just a portion in whatever order that you want. And in that connectivity cloud, SSE and SASE are just a portion of it. So this kind of set us up for probably the strongest foundation in this market, just because we did the really hard thing first by building out that really reliable and fast global network first and built ourselves a platform on which we can just keep building and keep shipping new capabilities really quickly. So yes, when we first entered the SSE market, we probably looked around and said, you know, there's a lot to build, a lot to catch up on, but thankfully we knew we had all the pieces to do it right uh, and do it really quick. Hi, I'm Noelle Kagan based in Portland, Oregon, and I work with the product team here at Cloudflare. And so you might be wondering, uh, what is contributing to this momentum? Why are we growing so much uh, in this SSE space? And I think this is really just um, a reward for the hard effort and, and work that our teams have put in. We've been growing our engineering and our product teams a lot. And we've been spending a lot of time listening to our customers on what are their needs and how do we better solve this, uh, the problems that they're having? And so in addition to some of the amazing uh, zero trust network access solutions that we already had, we started really investing in some of our other areas of growth, particularly around data security, expanding our data loss prevention products, our cloud access security broker products, um, and getting more into you know, digital experience monitoring, making sure that our, uh, our customers can really understand what's going on within their networks and triage any sort of connectivity problems of their, their users. And so we've really just been investing in all of these challenge areas for our customers and growing a ton. And that additional depth has added a ton of momentum and we're, we're super excited to see how Gartner recognized that. Um, and then what's coming next? Uh, any teasers for, for what we can see in the future? I would say just continuing on that momentum, we're gonna continue to expand those engineering and product teams. And we're gonna keep listening to some of the areas that our customers have given feedback on to continue growing. Again, data security is still another place we need to keep investing as well as some other areas of analytics and more visibility for our customers. So it's a lot of just listening to what, what's needed and just continuing to build. Uh, we really have faith that our customers are gonna put us on the right path uh, and we'll just keep growing in the space for them. Uh, you can read more about this on our blog at blog.cloudflare.com or read more about our position in the report. <laughs>